French-backed troops have been fighting to retake the city of Gao, a key Islamist stronghold in the north of Mali. Both Gao's airport and the strategic Wabari Bridge have been secured, while fighting continues, and there are unconfirmed reports the rest of the city has now fallen. As part of a two-pronged assault, forces have moved through the towns of Jabali and Lere towards the historic city of Timbuktu. Our international editor, Lindsay Hilsom, is travelling with Malian forces from the town of Savare through Bore towards Gao, and she's around 100 kilometres outside that city and joins us live. Lindsay, what's the latest there? Christian, I'm in a small village called Gossi. We have just arrived here with this enormously long convoy of Malian forces, about 100 vehicles or more, I would say. We got an extraordinary reception when we arrived. I think you're going to show those pictures in a few minutes. Now, as you can see, the sun is setting and the, uh, the Malian troops are all here. Everybody seems happy to see them. These are people who did not support the jihadis. They did not like al-Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb at all. And they've been coming up to us and shouting, Vive la France, Vive Francois Hollande, and Mali, Mali. Just explain the importance of Gao to us, Lindsay. Gao is extremely important. There are three major cities in the north of Mali, Timbuktu, Kidal, and Gao. These cities have been under the control of the jihadis for about nine months now. Means under the control of Al Qaeda in the Islamic Maghreb, places where they can not only oppress the uh, local population, how they have been cutting off the hands of suspected thieves, flogging people who smoke, forcing women to go out veiled, but also. There's an, an airport in Gao which is of international standard. It has an all-weather runway. That has been in the hands of jihadis, who are also drug smugglers, people smugglers, cigarette smugglers. It's been what they call an ungoverned space, which the jihadis have been able to use. So to get these three cities back, Gao first today, is tremendously important to the French. What the Malians who we're with have to do is hold those cities. I think that might be more difficult. We, we can see the Malian troops around you. Are, are they equipped and able, do you think, to hold these areas that the French are, are taking? No, not really. And that's one of the reasons why there are troops from other African countries coming in. To the east, troops from Chad, who are very experienced in desert fighting, and others from Niger, that's the country to the east, they're massing on the border, ready to come in to help secure Gao. And another problem is that the Malian forces, they don't have a good reputation up here. Most of the Malian forces are black Africans from the south of the country. The jihadis did get some support from Tuaregs and Arabs, lighter-skinned people, many of whom live in the north. And there have been exactions, there have been human rights abuses against the Tuareg by the Malian army. So one of the key things is going to be, how does the Malian army behave? If it behaves well, they have a chance of holding Gao. If they behave badly, they're going to lose any support from the population which they have at the moment. Uh, and what is happening to the Islamists? Where do they go? Do they just melt into the, the rural areas or what? Well, they melted away into the desert. I think that if the camera swings round, you can see the desert here. And you can see that there are people walking along the road, and then there are a few goats and so on, and a, a mobile phone mast. And then, beyond, there's nothing. There's desert. I should say, walking past that camera now is um, a woman who is a lieutenant colonel, one of the few female lieutenant colonels in the Malian army. What has happened to the jihadis is that they have gone away. Some of them have also just melted back into the city, taken away off their jihadi-type clothing, pretending to be normal citizens again. Now, they're not gone forever. They'll be back. There'll be a guerrilla war here. And that, again, is going to be a test in the coming months. For now, Lindsay Hilson, thank you very much.